I sat down. I thought, I can't breathe. I'm going to have a heart attack. I am going to have a heart attack for charity, <laughs> right? Charity heart attack, right? And then they put the thing up my nose. Like, what are you doing? The blood came out. I thought, what the what is going on? I don't okay. do Strictly Come Dancing or Great British Bake Off or panel shows. So what 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 one does he choose when he's 40 years old and fat and never fought before? Oh, I know. Let's have a go at boxing. Let's have a go at that. It was mental. I thought... I, I thought it'd be fun. I learned something, but you don't learn anything in three weeks. I, it took me three weeks to look at the bloke because of the first, I, I was honestly in training, right? Um, I would go and hit him, hit him. I'd go, oh. And they gave me this boxing partner and he was jabbing me and I'd go, oh God. And he was going, look up, look at me. I was going, the first thing is defend yourself, right? And do this, right? I couldn't punch, right? And I'm, I'm overweight. I say I'm 40 years old. I'm like 14. I'm just a blob. And I, no breath. I don't, uh, Not that bad, mate. There's much Honestly, I'm, the, I'm fitter now. I could, right, 20 years later, mm. I could beat my 40-year-old self up in about two minutes. I would smash me to death. <laughs> I'm so much better now. And I've sort of kept it up. To, but it, take, it takes you three years to learn to jab properly and turn your body and use your hips and use your back. It take, it, you know, you, so in three weeks, I just went out flailing. Like a, it's like someone had injected me with something and I, I, had, <laughs> I, had, I had six minutes energy. The adrenaline dump. So I'm walking out. It's still all fun at the moment. I've got the little robe on and Ricky Balboa. It's all a joke. It's for charity. I get in the ring and suddenly it's like, it was like the Hulk. Someone had swapped my brain. I suddenly go mental. But the, I, and I thought, I sat down. I thought, I can't breathe. I'm going to have a heart attack. I am going to have a heart attack for a charity, <laughs> right? Charity heart attack, right? And then they put the thing up my nose. Like, what are you doing? The blood came out. I thought, what the, what is going on? I, it, my, honestly, I've never, I didn't sleep that night. I was so full of adrenaline. I just stayed up like on the couch just all night. Like that, just like, like an owl. <laughs> <laughs> it, was like, it was unbelievable. I remember after the fight, I sort of like, I was in like trauma. I was like trauma. I'd never had this much adrenaline. I felt, you know, I'd never been that exhausted. My heart must have been like 200. I'm, I'd like to look back. A doctor would have gone, well, you had, you had another three seconds before you exploded. Right? Um, uh, and he said, yes, yeah, but you won. I went, uh, he went, honestly, tomorrow, it, you'll feel better because you won. He said, you'll still feel bad, but you'll feel better because you won. And he was sort of right. And I know it doesn't count. And I, it, was, it was an amazing experience. It was probably the hardest thing I've ever done. You've uh, done I, great. I, yeah. Um, You've done great, lad. You should was, be very happy. Oh, it was very, mental. very few in your position of your of the height of where you've been at would even dare to stick themselves in such a position because you can be so easily embarrassed. People will never forget it. They'll never let it go. And you've gone in. Have the goal and you've won. Okay, I, I might make a comeback then. <laughs> well, you, just, you just said, Swenty, you'd knock, you'd knock 10 bells out I of would. the huge money years ago. Yeah, I would. I would. But that doesn't mean I'll ever do it again. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'll ever do it again. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts.